Welcome back, everyone. So, have you heard this story already in the press? If not, let me summarize it a bit for you. So, this concerns Gyeongju, mm -hmm. um, which is the ancient Shilla mm -hmm. capital, and they have many uh, wonderful historical sites there, but this particular one is the Sokaram Grotto. Mm -hmm. And uh, Grotto is a kind of cave, and so mm -hmm. inside this rotunda, which is a round, um, domed, uh, shaped, structure, mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, a beautiful ancient stat Buddhist statue from the Shilla period. So it's it's really ancient, it's very mm -hmm. precious, um, mm -hmm. it garners tons of visitors mm -hmm. every year to visit mm -hmm. this site. Um, uh, it's quite quick, actually, yeah. you know, you can go up the mountain, have a look mm -hmm. inside, mm -hmm take a picture maybe, come out again. Mm -hmm. um, but so the concerns have started because this grotto is sort of inside a mountain mm -hmm. and uh, every mm -hmm. year, uh, you know, tons of rain falls with the typhoon and they've started to notice mudslides. Mm -hmm. So far, the grotto itself and the statue are safe mm -hmm. and there's been no damage, but every year it gets a little bit worse. Mm -hmm. I think there was a particularly big typhoon in 2022 mm -hmm. and they started to notice the damage, the sliding, subsidence mm -hmm. getting closer and closer to mm -hmm. the uh, grotto. So they are trying to think of some proactive measures they can take to protect uh, this special space before uh, the weather, before nature comes to claim it. Um, so good news, I suppose. They've caught it early before yeah. the damage has done, yeah. has been, any damage has been done, and uh, hopefully they will come up with some great solutions to keep it safe. So. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see what yeah. else we can discuss uh, surrounding this topic. Mm -hmm. um, John, mm -hmm. you mentioned you haven't been to yeah. Uh, yeah. Gyeongju, <laughs> but uh, have you seen mm -hmm. the Sokgram Grotto uh, maybe on the internet? Perhaps? I have seen it on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, it is quite small, I think. Uh -huh. And I believe it's uh, blocked off for full entrance. So mm -hmm. like you can see it from here, but then there's like a fence or something, and then you're like, oh, there it is, uh, type thing. They keep you away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think with people, if they're letting people like walk around that tiny area, bumping into stuff, like it'd be wearing down or even broken by now. Mm. So they're like, let's, let's keep this very important place human free, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and hopefully, you know, mud and dirt free. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. into the future. But no, it's it's a small little area, but it is intricate. It does look like it was made in modern times. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it's preserved pretty well. Oh, mm -hmm. that's good news. Yeah. Um, so uh, maybe you haven't been to this mm -hmm. particular historical site, mm -hmm. but what other regions uh, uh, have great um, historical sites um, other than um, this one? I mean, obviously, Seoul does have a couple. I I went to Gyeongbokgung, but the, like, Gyeongbok Palace, but for me, a reconstruction of something will never feel very um, impactful. Mm. However, what I didn't know is right below Kyungbu Palace, along that road there, there is a window that shows you part of a wall. Uh -huh. And it's a f like a, a meter and a half down from the road. Mm -hmm. And you're just looking down there and you can see the actual part of a wall. I don't think it's the main wall of the palace, but a wall near the palace. Mm -hmm. And that actually was impactful. Mm -hmm. I've also been to the east where there's, you know, some historical houses um, of poets and, you know, queens or uh, mothers of kings and stuff like that. I've been down south where they've showed like the turtle ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Yi Sun Shin, I believe his name. Yeah, he's, he's my favorite. Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so I've been to a, quite a few around and there are. Uh, mm -hmm. Been to a couple tombs as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tombs are always fun to go to. Yeah, they're cool, sort of mm. mounds with grass yeah. on. And they're huge, like you wouldn't think it, but you walk up and you're like, oh, this is like a real mountain <laughs> for one person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very cool, very yeah. cool. Okay, yeah. so, well, you go and decide which historical landmarks you're gonna visit next. Mm -hmm. Take a little moment and read through the vocabulary mm -hmm. list, try and learn some of those words. So when you're trying to tell your friends in English about the historical landmarks you visited, you can do it uh, very precisely. Mm -hmm. And then come back and see us in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>
grueling grueling rotunda rotunda cornerstone cornerstone proactive proactive